All right, guys. The reviews and stuff will begin shortly, and I'm right here, just waiting. Here we go. We got four thousand people actually waiting to start this. Whoo, whoo. Oh, here we go. All right, I'll be back in a minute, guys. All right, guys. So we're back, and I Christian told me that it's gonna be an hour long. Coming, uh, Necro said that. So I don't, I don't know. But let's see. So let's get started. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hello and welcome to the Pre Legends Festival Reveals and Here we Sun. go. Hello, everybody. <laughs> My name is Toshi. I'm the producer of Dragon Ball Legends. So we're finally back with a brand new episode of Reveals and Stuff. Plus, I've got two very special guests joining today with me to talk about the reveals and stuff for legends festival so all right so hello everyone i am jennifer the community managers for dragon ball legends and i am super happy to be back here yeah and i'm yannicka the supporting community manager i'm very excited to be back and uh let's uh see what we have in store today because yeah it is cool. going to be extremely exciting so tomorrow mm -hmm. the legends festival is actually coming and we yes, have a lot finally. to talk about a lot <laughs> We did announce the existence of this Legends Festival back on uh, November 1st, actually. But it actually will start tomorrow. And man, I hope that the hype from last year's festival surpassed even the anniversary. We've got some really, really great stuff in store for everybody again this year. So let's see if they guess what's coming. I think that we can start with the first announcement, correct? All right. So. The first announcement of the day. Here we go. Reveals and stuff is. Legends Festival Summoned. Here we go. Legends Festival Summoned. So, you can play Ooh. this summon with tickets that you can get from Digital the login, Blue. bonuses and events throughout the Legends Festival. It's a little hard to believe, I think, for many of the players, but there's a total of 300 freaking tickets up for grabs nice. from the Legends Festival login bonus alone. Wow, that's a lot. We made sure that uh, the number was crazy enough that people would be hype and happy and also realistic for us as well. But this is something that we specifically prepared just for this in the spirit of Legends Festival. So there's scores of characters to be obtained and hopefully more than a few limit breaks to be performed from the 300 summons that you'd be able to do. For those of you who are new to the game or returning after a break, this is a great way to instantly boost your power level for all your characters, so don't miss it out. And the 300 tickets you can get from the Legends Festival login bonus will be split up into five days. So be sure to log in every day and get all those tickets. Correct. So let's move on to the next announcement. Legends Festival anniversary thinks a billion campaign. All right, let's take a look at this. Legends Festival anniversary thanks a billion campaign. We're taking this opportunity to show our appreciation and give... Oh yeah, this is the... How many Chrono Cross so 1K CC equals one of these. Over this past year. That's Everyone my guess. that has been active in Legends in the past year will receive Festival Plate Gold in accordance with the number of Chrono Crystals that they used between November 1st from last year and November 1st from this year. I wonder year. how many I've gotten. You'll then be able to exchange those plates for the Legends Festival summon tickets we introduced earlier, as well as training items and even arts card sleeves. Ooh. These are brand new arts card sleeves that we prepared specifically for the Legends Festival. Interesting. I always like getting new art card sleeves. Yeah, I think that's mm -hmm. great. I don't think that we showed this information during the uh, countdown video. No, so, we didn't. So yeah, I'm super excited to know that we are going to get art card sleeve and also summon tickets. So yeah. Mm -hmm. It's one of those uh, mini customization things that I hope everybody is having fun with. I'm pretty sure everybody has their favorite characters and they're switching it around every so and so. But yeah, this one is specifically made for the Legends Festival and I hope you guys look forward to yeah. it. Yeah. Last year, we gave out tons of summon tickets to all the players with, uh, similar to this style. But this year, we'll, there will be a wider range of items up for grabs and I hope everybody chooses wisely and gets the items that they need most. Yeah, definitely. I will be just looking forward to all of this. So I think that we can move on to the next event, correct? Mm-hmm. So, 
The next announcement is. Festival Hoi Boys! Let's go! Hoi Boys are Festival coming back. Let's go. It's back again for Legends Festival. And uh, we're getting some LFZ power friends. this time. That means there's a truckload of Chrono Oh, we both Chrono Crystals and Multi Z power. Available. Wow. There might even be some Legends Limited Multi Z power in the mix as well. That's always appreciated. I am extremely happy that there's going to be Chrono Crystals, of course, but you know, the <laughs> Legends Multi Z power is also super useful. And actually, the community is always asking for these to be included as part of the Hoi Boy coins. So, yeah, they are going to be happy. <laughs> the Hoi Boy guns seem to be really, really popular within the yeah. players. And I mean, since the first edition, it's been amazing to be able to. Yes, finally please. Hoi Boys are the best thing you guys ever created, besides Happy Weekend. Them super easy, right? Because you can get the Hoi Boy coins from missions and events uh, during the festival. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, super nice. You can be hardcore and go for all the coins all at once, maybe even in the first week, or you can play casually, take your time, and play the contents that you guys want so that uh, this event itself isn't going to be stressful. But uh, we want to make sure everybody knows the rewards are pretty good again for this Legends Festival, so hope everybody looks forward to that. Yeah, definitely. So it is time for <laughs> the next event. So the next event is... Festival Choice Battle. Nice. Festival Choice Battle. Introducing a special version of Choice Battle just for the Legends Festival. Just think of it as a souped up version of the regular Choice Battle, complete with even better rewards. Specifically, slot removers, Summers. energies, skip tickets, and soul exchange medals. And it will be in a bundle, so the event lets you choose any one of those incredible rewards just by playing it. Plus, playing the event and completing the missions, and uh, you'll be able to get Chrono Crystals from that as well. I am really happy to see that we are going to bring a lot of different things, right? Yes. There's going to be tons of opportunities to get uh, new characters for everybody. New characters. Festival, so we hope that this event, the choice battle itself, will help everybody power them up even more with better character stats, with better equipments, and so on, so that they're ready for the battle. Awesome. All well, right. I think it's time to move on to the next announcement. Yes, I mean, come on, come on. Come Let's on. see the new characters. <laughs> Worldwide Fe Festival Missions. All right, nice. So, the usual the stuff. Next one is the World Hold on, guys. I'm going to make some ruckus in the background. Missions. So, there's special missions that will take place every Monday. Interesting. I think Monday uh, in either the U.S. or Japan. <laughs> I got to make sure that it's... Uh, it might not be Monday in certain parts of the world, but uh, throughout the Legends Festival at the beginning of the week, and it will involve every single Legends player. For example, we've got a mission specifically prepared where players from around the world work together to complete a set number of adventures. Interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody come together and smash through these missions. We've got amazing rewards, again, like the Chrono Crystals. Never so done. this is actually going to be plates. cool. Yep. Crystals all over oh, the place. Crystals. And of course, the silver version of Festival Plates, as opposed to the gold one that I talked about previously, and Hoi Poi coins, and more just waiting to be claimed from these missions. <laughs> so, this is the first time we've, that we have such a missions in the game, right? Mm -hmm. That's so nice. So, everything is going to happen in the game because previously we have run similar campaigns but on social media. So, this time mm -hmm. everything is going to be actually in the game. Yes, exactly. Of course, nice. uh, we'll probably be hyping it up on, on Twitter and SNS posts and such so yeah. that everybody knows what's going on. But yes, just like you said, this is going to be specifically in-game so that it's a lot easier for people to know what's going on without having to hassle through maybe different apps. But uh, this first one that I'm talking about is going to feature adventures. And it's not going to be a difficult one in the sense that you don't have to do like a million adventures per player. But we hope that everybody pitches in. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that we can move on to the next announcement. All right, come on. Let's go, Legends. Interesting. The next announcement is Let's Go, Legends. With this event, oh, will this is already is a thing in the game. Characters that share a tag of their choosing. Okay, are they going to add more, pe more parties? So, we understand that uh, Dragon Ball Legends, basically, you need six characters to form a party, and you have three characters to fight in the battle with. And the Z abilities, or the Zenkai abilities, all 
entangle each other in such a way that you want to make sure we have a sort of a theme together, you know, maybe similar tags, similar eras, and such. So it's a bit difficult for new or returning players, or maybe even some players who focus solely on one or two tags, to have a sort of a variety of party. And we wanted to give a opportunity of sorts, where players will have a tag of their choosing and just start off with a party of their own and build from that point on to customize into their own party or maybe even just try out something that they've never tried out before. This one is specifically focused for, as I mentioned earlier, new, new players. players and returning players, but obviously for certain players who may or may not have uh, certain characters and those specific tags, this is going to be a pretty big event. Yeah. And it will help if you didn't have Broly, starting party anybody... That people can work off from instead of simply summoning getting the six characters from that summon result, ten characters, and just sticking it all into one party. This is more of a, a railroad to start off in the path of your greatest party ever. And it has already begun, so if anybody watching hasn't played it yet, please give it a try. So, yeah. Toshi, did you already pick your deck? Do you have a favorite deck, actually? Halloween. Actually, um... I'll be honest, I already had all the characters in the selection, <laughs> yes. but okay. just for the sake of getting Hello. more Z powers for the characters, I chose Sagas from the movies. Oh, fuck you. Uh, okay. That has Sagas always been a bit you. of a favorite of mine. And yeah. what inspired them actually to put the, the certain tags together? Like, how did you come to the decision? So, obviously, it will relate to the characters that we may or may not talk about in the upcoming oh. events of Legends Festival. Okay. But also, we tried to make sure that it was a sort of a variety where um, it wasn't just Saiyans all over the place. It wasn't just hybrid Saiyans all over the place. Or, um, I understand, um, it may or may not lean into certain characters a bit too much. So, we tried to figure out a good balance between those. Nice. I'm excited to play with my tag. Yeah. I think that we should continue moving on because we have a lot of things to talk about. And especially oh, yeah. if you already kind of like, spoiled maybe something what's coming. Yeah. So, Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra Acquisition Events are now on. Moving on. Oh, no. The next one is Ultra Acquisition Events. So, as many of you already know, events where you can get Ultra Goku, Vegeta, and the new Omega Shenron in Legends Highest Rarity Ultra are currently available. These characters feature some amazing animations that the dev team have put a lot of time and effort into and sure. are super, super powerful, especially with some of those uh, equipments that we added recently as well. So make sure to play the event and get them entirely for free. They look so good, especially the Ultra characters because of the black and white. Yes. They look, they really I'm guessing that's what they mean when they work so when hard on. They work on that little like, oh, intro art. It just directly gets you hyped up, you know? Like, where you're just mm -hmm. excited, like, I want to play with this character because it looks so cool and, like, with the balls. It, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Wait, wait, wait. What did she say? Yeah, go ahead. The opening cinematic, mm -hmm. the animation that you get from selecting the Ultra character in the beginning of your party. Man, I just do that just so I can see it, regardless of whether it's useful or not, or whether it's tactful in that situation. I don't care. I just want to see just wanna my Vegeta's, my yeah. Omega yeah. Shenron's, and characters just show up and show it off to the opponent. Yeah, and it's also a great way to finally, if you still miss some stars, or, you know, to get mm -hmm. more for Goku or Vegeta as well. So it's going to be easier for everybody to actually get those characters right, because no long ago we actually adjusted the Ultra events. Or yes. players who acquire Just like everything you mentioned. easily, yeah. When we first uh, introduced Goku, uh, especially Goku and Vegeta, it was a tad difficult. We understand that uh, certain content was a bit uh, too difficult for certain players. We didn't want to gate them in that fashion. We wanted to kind of make it a sort of a long-term goal. We didn't exactly want to say, no, you have to be this strong to do it. But uh, now that we tweak the difficulty, we are hoping that we're in a good balance where obviously this shouldn't be the first instant thing you aim for. But it is something you can realistically reach out to and uh, gather the Z powers and power it up in a satisfying manner. Yeah, it gives you something to work towards rather than having everything at How once. long is this video stuff, dude? Like, is it really going to be an hour fast, long? You forget about it too fast, but like, when you really put hard effort and work in it, then it's just extra valuable as well. Yeah, so yep. make sure to get those characters. They're for free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> up yeah. next, uh, we have also another event that's coming back, if I remember correctly. Uh. 
Guess, oh, this is coming back. Again. The next returning event is the six Goku characters available for free event. Bring right back now. the Frieza We're soldiers. Or the Cybermen. From the third anniversary, and you can get up to six Goku characters. Everybody for has free. these guys' fortune you stars, dude. Own amazing art style and individual forms. So if you've missed out from the third anniversary or weren't still here yet, well, make sure to get your favorite one or just get them all to 14 stars. That's so great. I am definitely happy because I will be able to limit break all of my Goku characters up to 14 stars. So yeah, that's so great. Yeah. What about you, Toshi? Well, I mean... Did you have all of them? I got I got all of them to uh, seven plus stars. I kept see, saying... Uh, we, we keep saying 14 stars. It's the te technical official term is seven plus stars. Seven but, uh, plus? Yeah, I know. Um, yes, I did. 14 is the official now. Change it. Just for the sake of collection's sake. Because, again, I mentioned earlier about the art style. It's just so cool in each of those Goku. Yeah, they're beautiful. And mm -hmm. also, they're quite powerful. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like playing with them. It's not just for the collection, but they're quite good. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I think that we can move on to the next one. Next one? Come on, be something new already. Next announcement. Only available for 160 hours starting the game? Oh, this thing. 168 hour limited start dash summon. This start Whoa. dash summon, yep, it's only available to the new players, those who just started Legends, and only will be available for the first 168 hours after they start playing Legends. So this is like basically but if you re-download the game start a new account. With one powerful Legends limited character guaranteed. So it's the perfect way wow. for those new to the game to get some serious firepower. The summon can be played up to three times, and it costs 1,000 Chrono Crystals per summon, per consecutive summon. So if you're new to the game, make sure to take advantage of this. Yeah, th if you're summon. new, this is really so the best time to start. Three Legends Limited characters? Guaranteed. Right at the beginning? Mm -hmm. Guaranteed. Wow. Guaranteed. Wow. I, I, wish, so I wish I had this now. Maybe I should start I'm, over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm actually actually Reroll. Have that feedback? <laughs> yes. In that sense, the lineup won't be entirely up to date in the sense that we're not going to okay. include the newest Legends Limited characters. We want to make sure that the people who have been with us for so long, who have been playing, don't feel left out or don't feel as though they're at a disadvantage. This is something of a literal start dash. It's to boost up those new players so that they do have something to work on and also maybe start aiming for some of those uh, Legends Limited characters, Senkai Awakenings, mainly because, yes, they do require seven stars, but Man, we are giving out lots of ways to acquire the characters and those Legends Limited multi-C powers. So, this will be something of a help for those kind of players that are literally new to the game and have nothing in their arsenal. I mean, there's never the better time. I mean, you get potential to get six Goku characters. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, this shit is boring as shit. <laughs> you have summon tickets, like, oh, yeah. so much at once. The tag... Mm -hmm. We're hoping yeah, literally now is the best time to start playing Legends. And to keep playing yeah, it, hopefully. Hey, honestly, that's true. <laughs> of course. This is really so the best time to start a Legends, really. Probably, or hopefully help that even more. Legends Friends Power Up. Sorry, you just hit my bag. Legends Friends Power Up. A Legends Friends where you can invite your friends to play This Legends thing is back. And complete missions together. Get an extra 300 chronicles from Ryan your friends. Nice. The number of friends you can invite to 35, and we've also added chrono crystals to the rewards. With the 300 free consecutive summons, the Let's Go Legends event, and the Start Dash summon, there's literally never been a better time to start playing Legends, and we've prepared all of these events to make it easier for new players to catch up and get in on the fun with everybody else. So, for those of you who've already capped on the uh, previous Legends Friends system, well, this is your chance to go wow. and invite even more people. And for those of you who haven't, well, this is a great way to get playing with your friends without having to constantly be one-upping each other. This is a sort of a cooperating mission so that you don't have to gloat with each other. I have this character or I don't have this character. This is something that you guys can work on together. All right, cool. So nice. Well, I will have to start this came out second friends, anniversary, by the way. Now you can also get Chrono Crystals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the best reason. Yeah, so that's Super One of the nice easiest ways to hopefully <laughs> entice uh, certain content to the players. And uh, yeah, yeah, we've also <laughs> definitely had feedback regarding that as well. And that's another reason why we're adding it to begin with. So 
we want to make sure <laughs> that uh, Brother Man's this voice just died right there. tweak is going to make it even more helpful for the new users, the newbies, the beginners. And, mm -hmm. well, basically, not instantaneously catch up because we understand it's that's not a realistic goal, but something that you can have fun with while you're getting better, while you're getting closer to your friends. Yeah, exactly. It definitely helps because it's always like hard when your friends have already been playing a game and you mm -hmm. join in later that you're a bit behind, but mm -hmm. this gives them a really good chance to actually, well, mm -hmm. start on somewhat of the same playing field. So yeah. that must be a way Bro, I'm not going to lie. This shit is so yeah. fucking boring. The, you know, I, see the I really don't want to watch this right now. Accessible. I'm waiting for the players, just... So I'm just waiting for this other stuff, sense, man. Though, I want to make sure that everybody understands, everybody that's watching this, it doesn't mean we're only going to be providing things for the new players. Obviously, we you are better. making sure that everybody has fun with this Legends Festival specifically. Gonna give us stuff too. Next announcement of... Five weeks of Raid Battles, let's go! Five weeks of Raid Battles. For now that is really good news. Freaking weeks, we'll be running special Legends Festival Raid Battles featuring amazing, amazing rewards. Awesome. That's super nice. I mean, this is uh, pretty close to what we did for the third anniversary, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So we are going to have a new boss every week. Hopefully... Not so difficult, please. <laughs> <laughs> this will obviously won't. It won't be that of a difficulty with the uh, um, higher co-op difficulty stages where you need to have certain characters or you won't even make it. In fact, uh, the experience that we're trying to provide with the raid is obviously if you have certain sets of characters, it'll make it go faster. But it doesn't mean you can't clear it with other characters. And this raid will be featured every week for five consecutive weeks and obviously we'll have chrono crystals and many other crazy rewards yeah the raids are like the best event to farm chrono crystals and rewards for me mm. it's always like okay you start you do the raid a couple of times and you cash in <laughs> and then you just summon more so yeah. for this raid that we're preparing for five consecutive weeks um it will be in the same format as that of the third anniversary where players can attempt the raid until the boss's health reaches zero meaning we wanted to make sure the content wasn't going to be something where you had to play every day where you had to play constantly for literally five weeks straight and burn out we don't want that to happen we want to make sure that everybody um has a bit of a healthier schedule so obviously it will be a sort of a format that will be different from what we've had in the previous oh, week. Oh, that's not where that you good. Constantly play, um, but this will be provided for five consecutive weeks. Provided. So everybody will definitely have a chance to join in, and we'll also make sure that the health of the boss doesn't instantly reach zero. We'll try our best to make sure that the, the yeah, make it literally nine 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 trillion. And at the same time, we'll make sure that it's something that everybody can realistically defeat at the end. So you wanted to be defeated, okay? Yeah, I am looking forward to know. Then just make it like um, seven trillion. We're good. Oh yeah, that's something <laughs> yeah. of a motif. Uh, yeah, maybe tied with something we're gonna talk about later. But the bosses will change every week, and the rewards will definitely be reset and provided for every individual raid. So through this event, you will be able to collect festival medals and exchange them for chrono crystals and hoi poi coins. Nice. All right. Well, so make sure to play. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so we can move on to the next announcement. Finally, ultimate equipment collection, total revival. The next announcement get? is the ultimate equipment collection, total revival. What is this? For Legends Festival this year, we'll be bringing back every piece of equipment that's ever been featured in an ultimate equipment collection. Okay. Wow, I'm very excited for that. The new equipment is insanely powerful and helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of those yeah. are just literal game changers, and others are honestly just simply great to have for all the characters in your party. So I want to make sure that this is a good opportunity for those of you who missed out when it previously was available in-game, or when you have maybe a new set of characters that you want to focus on that you didn't have previously. Like a new attack? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And also... I mean, this one is super easy to complete. Uh, the event super itself fast, is so, yeah. not hard at exactly, all. Exactly, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a few clicks, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you get a super powerful equipment piece. So, yeah, make sure to upgrade. Yep. <laughs> uh, the event itself is relatively simple. 
and we want to make sure that you use this time to secure and guarantee those uh, upgrade features that we implemented recently where you can use a bit more uh, removers and uh, slot removers and make sure that those slots are guaranteed for a higher stat roll. So yes. maybe this is your best chance to start doing it and just get even more of those slot removers to begin with through the raids or other events as well. So hopefully everybody is in on quite this. A lot. Yeah. Dude, this is 25 minutes so far. <laughs> Let's continue. Mm -hmm. What's coming next? The next one is... Alright. Festival Duel 2021. Let's see. Festival Duel Let's see. A special season of PvP for Legends Festival is on the way. Interesting. In this season, on top of increased rewards, we'll also be offering a special title. The Legends Festival Champion. I hope everybody's ready to battle it out and claim that title for themselves so that they can show it off to everybody who haven't gotten it yet. And hopefully the new environment, the new systems are catering to everybody with new characters and old that has seen the light of day until recently. So we want to make sure that this special season of PvP is going to be a crazy one that is sort of a manifestation. I like that they're actually starting to do some new things with PvP for once. And do players have to get to a certain rank to get the title, or do they just get it by playing? There will be certain requirements. Obviously, we're not going to hand them out like a candy. But it, uh, depending on the situation, for certain players, it wouldn't be that hard. And for those of you who just started, we'd like to think this is going to be a bit of a good uh, benchmark of sorts. Right, like a proper proper trial. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I mean, Legends Festival champion, that sounds good. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> I look forward to you becoming the champion, so okay. uh, <laughs> let, let's my practice best. after this. <laughs> Religious Festival Adventure, so adventure We've stuff. Got yep. a lot more to go. Collect and meat and cake. The Legends Festival Adventure. Of course, we've also prepared an adventure event for Legends Festival. So nice. And now, as you know, it is super easy. So to now we got to grind meat. All right. Long ago, we introduced this new feature which uh, mm -hmm. automatically launches the adventure, so you just have to, you mm -hmm. know, click a few times and everything is done for you. So yeah, super easy. And you will get a bunch of yes. rewards. We'll constantly be moder monitoring how it's being touched, how it's being played by our players. And we'll be looking at all the feedbacks constantly so that in, even in the future, we'll keep working on it to make it even more streamlined than it is now. As of now, we feel it's actually in a pretty comfortable state. So if there's any more ideas, feedbacks for you guys regarding this system, we definitely like to hear as well. But for now, uh, no, adventures are always a fine. Big part of the Legends Festival. So play some of the events, gather those adventures. So I think that we have talked about a lot, a lot, a lot of events and other campaigns that are coming for the Legends Festivals, but I am wondering mm -hmm. if we are going to finally talk about the juicy stuff. <laughs> the juicy, the juicy stuff. stuff. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the big reveals and stuff that everybody has been waiting for. Correct. Yes, for 30 <laughs> minutes now, yeah. dude. Everybody that's been patient with us, thank you for watching until this point. So Yes, come on, waiting. Some amazing characters incoming. Here we go. Take a look at this. Oh, here we go, here we go. All right, here we go. So it is featured themed. All right, my. All right, so it is Trunks. Glad it's not UI Goku. Well, it's not over yet. Let's see. Oh! oh! That looks so good. Oh my god, that's so cool. And I love Trunks. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was Trunks' hair on the teaser. Is a strike cover? Wait, that's fire! <laughs> they use tr uh, Oh my! Damn, this looks cool. So another hybrid buff, by the way. 
Coming soon. From the Dragon Ball Super Future Trunk Saga, Extreme Mai, sparking Zamasu with Rose Goku Black as an assist, and Legends Limited Super Saiyan Trunks are nice, coming. Nice, dude. Trunks? Legends. Goku Black assist is literally what I asked for. So I hope Trunks is finally here. I feel yeah. I've yes. heard... People ask for this character for the longest time. Like, every day. Oh, yeah. Literally every day they are asking. And I think they knew <laughs> somehow. But yeah, extremely happy that it is finally happening. Finally. Yeah, a lot of people were saying yeah, it was I'm strong. Sure that it took so long, but we finally so it's not UI Goku. Wow. They actually didn't bring out UI Goku for Black Friday. Elements. It's probably Christmas but then. Besides Obviously, Trunks. We also have Samasu and Mai. I mean, Mai is one of mm -hmm. my favorite characters, so I'm really happy that she's here. Added also is Extreme. Yeah, yeah. Mai's a unique character with her uh, gun that literally <laughs> shreds players apart. And Bruh. also, this new Zamasu will be assisted by Goku Black. So that's another new amazing assist character. Finally, getting another Zamasu. I'm sure everybody wants to see them in action. So. Here is the gameplay video. All right, here we go. Let's see what they do. My. Same strike animation, same blast. Does she get an O at least? <laughs> it's literally the green My. Okay. All right, here we go. Something new. Oh, that's a new strike animation, actually. You cannot escape Green card. You cannot escape. No ult? What? Ah. Alright, here we go, Trunks. A slick green card. Does he have endurance? It's a new Gallic gun. That's trunks from fighters. That screen right there. I won't lose to someone who believes in nothing but himself. Thank you, everyone. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's introduce my is an extreme firepower increases according to how many tag future characters there are in the party. She has great synergy with trunks. Being able to restore his health and boost his strike damage inflicted whenever she switches to standby. Plus, her main ability lowers all enemies' resistance to slice damage, which resistance. is useful for tag future parties who can dish out a lot of this type of damage. In addition, she will also buff her allies when defeated, making her a character who can support your team all the way until the end of battle. Nice. Next up is Zamasu. Green. Goku Black as assist. Zamasu is a defense type character whose defensive abilities are especially strong at the start of battle. He'll inflict various attribute downgrades on the enemy, and you can benefit from him performing cover changes. What the, at the start fuck? 70 counts? He gets fit. Wow. Him an excellent shield for your party. Plus, after performing a cover change, he will get a buff and draw a special arts card, which he can use to reduce his opponent's vanishing gauge to 0% just once per battle. Make good use of that boost right after a cover change and deliver the perfect counter attack with an intense combo. And now, Super Saiyan Trunks. So he's blue. Trunks is a melee attacker with a unique gauge who has incredible fire and defense powers. His unique gauge fills up every time he receives an enemy's arts attack. And when it's completely full, it will reduce the enemy's key, boost his own arts card draw speed, and boost his inflicted damage, allowing for a devastating counter attack. His special arts will draw new cards, and along with his overwhelming attacks, he also has a special cover change against strike arts, 
as well as an endurance effect as long as he's in a party with two other Tag Future or Tag Vegeta Clan characters, making Trunks an easy character to use thanks to his reliable defensive options. Interesting. So we had talked about a lot, and I am not sure if I can take any more. No, I want more. <laughs> Give me more. We need more. Oh, I mean, yeah. I obviously want more, but... <laughs> so, Toshi, what do you get? Anything else? <laughs> well, yeah, we'd like to think that even as of this point, we've announced a lot. New characters, return of amazing events, campaigns that people have been waiting for, and, uh... We'd like to think that we're on a good track of hyping up a Legends Festival as something of, uh, that we've been, everybody has been looking forward to for the end of the year. Something that keeps raising the bar every year because, you know, this name, the Legends Festival, technically it did start last year, but uh, even before that, we've always had this uh, event, amazing New Year event, amazing New Year banners, characters, and all these things available. But we want to make sure that this Legends Festival is something what are they that gonna do? want to be a part of and will remember and will I feel like something big is coming. Pause. Well. So, obviously, there is more for this year's Legends oh? Festival. So, with that said, take a look at this. What is this? Oh, we're getting hyped. <laughs> well, this... Wait. <gasps> oh! Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta from the Broly movie? Oh, no way. Is it finally time? No way. No way. What's wrong? Okay. 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 He's getting behind. Oh, full power Broly. Akari Broly. Oh, sick, and it's a cyst. Oh my god, that looks pretty sick. Another free zone! Let's go! Eloise, let's go! Legends Limited? Wait, is that an extreme then? Wait, a Super Saiyan Gogeta? Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. This is not new. Okay, they're, okay, these are old units, that's why. Wait, so that Frieza was new though. Okay, that's legend, that's Blue Broly. They're li wait! Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Why are they showing so much of Broly? At the beginning- No. They wouldn't release another Gogeta Blue, right? No, it's not. This is, this is the same yellow Gogeta. been a year since they released them almost Let's do this again. so <gasps> oh! <laughs> wait what <gasps> oh the switch unit they switch oh my god <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, what? Dude, this is so cool! Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta. Dude, that art is amazing. What? The, the, this is an actual dual unit. Oh my god! That looks. F oh my god! Last Sick. Characters from Dragon Ball Super Broly, like Final. DBS. Oh, I was literally thinking, when are they gonna bring this Blue Goku and Free and Vegeta? A brand new type of character. A tag character. Dude, why not give us Golden Frieza? What the hell? Vegeta is making an appearance in Dragon Ball Legends. That is really, really cool. I mean, we spoke about tags earlier, but what is this tag character? <laughs> Specifically, this is an entirely new function. It's an entirely new thing, and this is Legends' first character of its kind, and it's entirely different from that of assist characters. 
I also noticed mm -hmm. actually that Paragus is there. Unfortunately, he um, doesn't have too many um, scenes where he's actually fighting, so he's making a sort of a cameo of sorts in Broly, his animation, but he's definitely there, and we'd like to think this is a bit of a cool touch to differentiate this Broly from the other Broly's. Yeah, I think this is super nice, and also only Legends could pull that off, so <laughs> mm -hmm. great animation, as always. So, I'm pretty sure we have all these new characters and everybody would like to see this gameplay video especially of the Goku and Vegeta character so let's take a look all right let's see dude I'm hyped oh Final Form Frieza is he an extreme he's probably an extreme dude I swear LOE be getting nothing at least yeah this is an extreme this is definitely an extreme Why they gotta make Frieza an extreme? They gotta make Golden Frieza. That R is fire. Okay. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. So Goku has a blast cover? Oh, I see. So depending on which character you left on, they have the cover change. Oh, but, oh my god, this is so cool. But your boy is finally, finally going to summon on this Goku and Vegeta. And they're purple from what it looks like it. Is that his blue card? Okay. Can you show Goku's blue card? Sick. Interesting. Dude, these guys look. Dude, these guys are amazing. All right. First up is He's Final green. Form Frieza. Frieza so they're making the LOE green finally. He survived until the end of battle thanks to his various damage cut effects as well as the ability to recover health with his special arts. When entering battle, he will not only limit his enemy's actions but also boost his inflicted damage, making him useful in a variety of situations. Plus, he'll grow stronger as his allies are defeated gaining inflicted damage boosts and received damage cuts. His special move arts can nullify his enemy's ability to recover their health when it reaches zero, making him a character who can survive until he's Did he get damn. Next is Broly. Broly is a powerful attacker with a very strong Interesting. special move arts. At the start of battle, his next special move arts get a huge damage increase and his next draw when he enters the battlefield is a special move arts card meaning he can jump in with a powerful attack right from the start. He can draw a strike arts card with his main ability, and since he can also nullify his opponent's special cover changes, he's able to continue attacking without the enemy getting in his way. He's especially strong at the start of battle, but it doesn't end there. He'll obtain different perks depending on the types of arts cards the enemy Three uses. Counts. Just like all Saiyans, Broly gets stronger the longer the battle goes on. Now it's time for Super Saiyan God, right, Super go. Saiyan Goku, and Vegeta. We talked a little bit about tag characters earlier, but here's a more detailed explanation. Tag characters are units where two characters battle as one, switching in for each other. Instead of a main ability, tag characters have a switch ability. The switch gauge ah. will actually fill up as you use arts cards or take damage, and when it's full, you can activate the switch ability. Unlike main abilities, Switch abilities can be used multiple times as long as you fill up the gauge. The in-game help menu will be updated with a section on tag characters as soon as they're implemented, so check it out to find out more about them. Let's talk about Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta's abilities next. As we explained, this is a tag character where Goku and Vegeta can switch in for each other. Dude, this is gonna be Goku broken. Can gauge, as well as destroy enemy cards and lower their key which makes him an excellent character to fight with. Vegeta can draw Blast Arts cards, 
and restore key each time he uses a strike or blast arts card, making him a great Oh my, he kills Revive. Plus, they're also equipped for defense since both characters have a special cover change against blast arts for Goku and against strike arts for Vegeta. But this unit's most unique feature is that each time the characters switch in for each other, they can reverse their element factors. For example, when facing an element yellow character, Goku would be at an element disadvantage. Oh. Using the switch ability and changing to Vegeta reverses the unit's element factors and makes them strong against element yellow characters. On the other hand, you would have to keep in mind that they would now be weak against element green characters, but this is still an extremely strong ability and we hope Yeah, this is actually pretty busted. Really looking forward to all the new tactics I can do with these stack characters. I mean, mm -hmm. This is going to be an entirely new thing, similar to that when we first introduced the. This is this is going to be an ability so that's going to be strong. This tag character will have the ability to reverse element factors, to or switch using their dedicated switch gauge. The easiest way to use it would be to switch when you're at an element disadvantage, and basically switch from Goku to Vegeta, Vegeta to Goku, and every time you do that. Your element factor reverses. This will be super interesting for PvP. Like, I can already mm -hmm. imagine the crazy place we're gonna get from this. <laughs> this character will have amazing power just in in the sense of ability. Is there still He's more? And it, this new what is there left? I think would bring a lot of new decision making whenever you're using this character. At the same time, it will not be an instant switch and win kind of character it's more so as a new path a new decision tactic that you can choose from an arsenal of other characters as well and we'd like to think this will be a new gate that opens up ideas for other characters other characters combinations and certain reverse elemental factors that will definitely influence the environment of the pvp in dragon ball legends so I am wondering, because we have talked, or we have introduced a lot of new characters, so how are we going to get them? <laughs> oh yeah, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what, uh, that's pretty big for everybody that's watching this. Yeah. And for everybody that's looking forward to these new characters. So this is something amazing that we prepared specifically for the Legends Festival. Interesting. So, first off, the Festival Step Up Summon featuring Legends Limited, Super Saiyan Trunks, and the new tag character, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, and Vegeta, will have triple the drop rate for sparking rarity, and triple the Z power for all rarities available in this. What? Wow. <laughs> three times, triple. Oh my god. So, usually, okay, three? players... Can three times. Three times. Oh. I'm not getting three okay, times. Okay, okay, okay. I just wow. need to continue listening to this but yeah mm -hmm. so specifically i'll say it one more time triple the drop rate for sparking rarity meaning the usual summons that we people are used to it's usually 10 percent. it's going to be 30 percent chance to get a sparking rarity character this is going to be the best and celebration ever the z powers that you'll be getting like for example again with the sparking characters you'll usually get 600, 600 you will z get powers. but 1800 legends festival special step up summon well you'll get 1800 that's amazing <laughs> dude yeah, it, yeah it's it's basically kaioken three times but uh, <laughs> honestly, oh my god sure our body can handle it but um this is something that we've been preparing for a long time and we wanted to make it a special occasion for that of the legends festival where players don't feel like they have to pick a negatively you know balanced mm. uh, character dude you something. just have to get the character I five times feel like their crystal is not worth it or i don't want them to regret it after getting a character well for those of you who are maybe even budget players this is a great time to get that one character and immediately move on to pvp or a great time for those of you who don't have that many seven plus star characters to realistically aim for those characters you know i know where my chrono crystals are going <laughs> oh, easy yeah. everybody's chrono crystals are going there. i gotta buy some chrono crystals guys again i'm going to say this three times actually <laughs> but uh, the sparking rarity is triple that of the usual summons 
and the number of Z powers that the characters will be available in will also be triple that of the normal summons for sparking, for extreme, for hero characters, doesn't matter. For all the rarities that's available in it, even if it's a Legends Limited character, you will get them at 1,800 for sparking and 750 extreme and so on. So it is an amazing deal that will be available for this Legends Festival. This is so special. I mean, mm -hmm. really, really good. Yeah, like, I am looking forward to <laughs> blown out of park. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it'll be available for the duration of the Legends Festival. So yeah, don't miss out. Yeah, so I mean, I will think that this will be the end of this episode, right? Because we have talked so much about so many events. Dude, of course, it's 15 minutes long. But we have more, actually. What? Oh, yeah, no. This is more? This is where we end for our past reviews and stuff. But yeah. we have a bit more. So now <laughs> that we've... Are they releasing another Ultra so unit? that Zenkai Awakenings are free, we are very happy to announce... Oh, yes, the yes, the Zenkai, Zenkai character. Awakening, who, who is the Zenkai? Who is the Zenkai? Oh. Broly with Chilai as a Oh. Assistant. The character will be getting a Zenkai Awakening. I have them nine stars, but. Oh, that's such a mid choice. Zenkai Awakening power. But I see why they did it. Through the Battle Gauntlet and also the missions tied to it. Amazing. So that means also a lot of Chrono Crystals. <laughs> yep, so Roger of free Chrono yes. Crystals. Oh, yeah. No, that event is a juicy event for players who don't even have Proly. We made sure that the Colonel Crystals didn't lower when we implemented this, so it's something to look forward to. And you can simply just get the Awakening Z power first and wait for the character to, to awaken later yep. on. So this is something that we hope everybody will challenge. And for those of you who can't clear all the way, well, now is your best time to get your arsenal of characters, power them up, find out a party that works and clear it all the way to oh, most way. likely going to be 100 floors let's do this <laughs> i'm ready yeah and the battle gauntlet like everybody's super happy with this event um so yeah it's a wonderful one but that's not everything right oh my no, god we're not done we're not done <laughs> limited time only blizzard play oh okay that's this nothing. is an entirely new thing but for the limited time during the Legends Festival, Blizzard, that means YouTubers will suffer. From Dragon Ball Super Broly is back after its first appearance in last year's Legends Festival. Obviously, because the characters from that movie is also available in the new roster, we'd like to have a chance for everybody to play events, PVPs, with this amazing song in the background playing. I think it's very catchy. Like, just listening to it, it, it yeah. just has to oh, yeah, cool. vibe. Like, I don't know, every time I'm just like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it just gets you excited. Like, Yeah, it's true. I actually have a question. Is this is it going to be the Japanese version or are we going to have also the English version of the song? It's going to be respective of the different uh, region that you install Dragon Ball Legends Amazing. in. So for those of you who install the global version, yeah, it'll be in English. And uh, for the Japanese players, who I highly doubt is watching this right now, but uh, <laughs> will uh, be able to experience it in the Japanese version as well. So yes, it's going to be an amazing time where I hope everybody will turn up their volume while playing Legends during this festival. Yeah, awesome. I would definitely turn it on. <laughs> time so to practice but all the lyrics. we're not done. No. Oh no, we're not done with the news and announcements. We still have a bit more news. Oh, so, not done? <laughs> nope, what? not done. I was Very about long. to get ready and get but, up, uh, but uh, I'll just sit no, back. No, we have a lot more. Okay, so, let's do A lot this. more? Is, it's about time I got a chance to fight. It's about time I got a chance oh, to fight. Oh, finally. Event. Well, that Goku looks we're weird. We're you a new event where you can get Goku in his winter gear from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. It's about time they give Goku. Finally. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm, we already finally. have the Vegito and Dry, so mm -hmm. we had been waiting for that Goku for some time now. Oh, yeah. So, yes, just like you said previously, we did provide Vegeta in the winter gear, but yeah. now it's Goku with the winter gear, and you can get him for free by clearing this. They really stretched out these Broly characters, dude. A new character. For those of you who want to collect a new character, well, this is your chance. I think I can't get up with all the free. There's so much free. Like, That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. New characters for those of you who have been with us. There's going to be just this new Goku with the winter gear. This amazing summon step up where everything is tripled. 
and the new characters with Dude, the triple summons system, are like crazy high amazing unique gauge just everything is going to be crazy for those of you who hasn't been with us until recently well the step of the new summon available for 168 hours it's going to be an amazing way to get your party started and Dude, the way I'm going to edit this is just by re like the reactions from, I have. That will be available for all players. That'll also be a great way to step off into the amazing world of Dragon Ball Legends, we'd like to think. Wow, a lot. I mean, this is it, right? Like, we don't have anything else because the amount of events <laughs> and characters that we are bringing is crazy. Yeah, so first off, honestly, we have so much going on but we want to make sure like i said previously legends festival is going to be a sort of a manifestation of that of 2021 where we'd like to thank everybody that's been part of us for so long and also for those of you who came in recently we prepared tons of new events for this year's legends festival so that new and veteran players alike can have lots of fun for those of you who want more who have more feedbacks who have certain gripes or just wants to see certain things certain way Definitely keep your voices up and tell us that in these kind of events, this is where we want to make sure we prove to everybody that we are definitely listening and that it will get even better in the coming days, <laughs> weeks, months, and years. Indeed. So make sure to share your feedback on our social media channels. Use the hashtag mm -hmm. TVLegends so that we can track that information. And yeah, I think... That's it for today, right? Yeah. All right, finally. I mean, thank you yeah. so much no, for this. My mouth is real freaking dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, thanks for uh, you know going through all of this with with us. Uh, I mean, it's mm -hmm. amazing. Like, I'm looking forward to. I can't even imagine what I'm looking forward to because it's an overload of information. <laughs> <laughs> got too excited there <laughs> yeah so i hope everybody's looking forward to everything tomorrow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we are going to start introducing that correct legends festival is mm -hmm. coming tomorrow so um oh, yeah. yeah so thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you next time yep thank you so thanks, much thanks guys Bye. see ya Bye. all right guys we're ending it too it's already an hour long so i gotta go edit this so i'll catch you guys in the next video I fucking ended it when this happened. Okay, hold on. What's this? Super Vegito's ult just started playing. Oh my god. Wait, that was Yellow Vegito's. Psych! Nope, we're not done yet. We really kept you waiting for this one, but... Uh, here, here. The Legends Limited Super Vegito is also getting a Zenkai Awakening, finally. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, everybody thought we were done. <laughs> Definitely, we're back yeah, in the studio, yeah, boys. We were we yeah. were thinking we were done, basically. <laughs> yeah, but I yeah, mean, no. <laughs> we have so much we to talk about. It's crazy. For so long, but no, there was just this one big last announcement left. Wow. We weren't sure about Super doing Vegito's like finally this getting a Zenkai. The reveals and stuff, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure all of you veteran players out there are very happy and will look forward to this new Legends Limited Super Vegito that Holy shit. <laughs> this is going to be good. To make this long time coming Zenkai Awakening that will hopefully make the Fusion Warrior tag even more powerful with Super Saiyan for Gogeta and all those new characters that will be added as well. So, you know what? This is just... We'd like to hope everybody is happy with it and we'd like to thank this was a great reveals and stuff too i mean i think everyone was quite surprised and i definitely hope they kept waiting uh at the uh after the ending uh, so that was like, super videos <laughs> for like this is not our first wow time. this yeah. is <laughs> no. crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. but it is super video is finally getting his Zenkai, so guys these, uh, get ready some time ago, but because it is a big event so we needed to keep mm -hmm. everybody waiting for a little while but yeah. finally it's coming so when is this coming yep this is definitely coming in the coming days of the festival. He was released, as I mentioned earlier, way back during the first anniversary of Dragon Ball Legends, but we'd like everybody to use this guy one more time in the amazing environment that will probably be available during this time of the Dragon Ball Legends festival, and also the PvP mode that will be available as well. So, yeah, this is something that we were really waiting to provide for everybody as well finally and dude we can't think any other timing than now awesome and what about people that don't have him yet so for those of you who don't have it for those of you who are entirely new or have missed out 
there will be an event where you can get Legends Limited. More stars for me. You can get his Z power by clearing this event, and that means you will be able to use those Legends Limited multi Z power that you can get from all over the place that we have right now in these campaigns and events as well. For those of you who do already have him, obviously, you will be able to get him through that of the space time rush or missions or campaigns and other varying acquisition methods. So please look forward to it. Similar to that of the previous Legends Limited Zenkai Awakenings, this one will also be in a similar fashion. So it's not going to be you have to spend Chrono Crystals, you have to spend money or anything like that. Just like with the new system implemented from October and beyond, Zenkai Awakenings will be free for everybody. Amazing. So does that mean they're going to make an event for this guy too? With all his Awakening Z power and missions with Awakening Z power? So nice. Glad to hear that. And I hope for the new players as well, or maybe even some of the returning ones, this will be a great event. And I hope everybody looks forward to it. Yeah, but that's not everything, right? We have more. No, no, we're not done yet, even though. <laughs> You thought the video was done? No, oh there's my still god, more. there's still there more. Is also going to be a yep, there, there it is. Battle Gauntlet. Battle Gauntlet. <laughs> you will be able to get oh my god, dude. 1400. 1400 CC just from two gauntlets. Wow. Just, I, I really need yep. to. I'm sitting down, but I feel like I need to sit down. Like, <laughs> I just need a breather. <laughs> wow. Yep. So you can simply clear the Awakening Z Power missions, and there will be another 4,000 of his Awakening Z Power coming your way. So with the mission and the Battle Gauntlet, you'll be able to get the Awakening Z Powers for this Legend Limited Super Vegito. And also through the event I mentioned earlier, you'll, if for those of you who don't have that base character at all, well, this is your chance to get him. Wow, so it means that you can get 7,000 Awakening Z Power for this amazing character. From even some missions, so nice. That's a lot. That is a actually. lot, indeed. Yep. We plan to release these events and the Zenkai Awakening event. itself in December, so it won't be immediately uh. when the festival begins. You will have to wait a bit longer, but hey, we'd like to think you have a lot of stuff to work through, so... <laughs> I think we'll right. be busy enough, yeah. We will be yeah. busy enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be busy for like one or two yeah. days and I'll be finally, done. Finally, though. Finally. We're out of surprises. We're... I'm not, I'm not going to say you guys anymore. <laughs> I'm actually pretty much done with the reveals and stuff. Yeah, he, he baited now, me. He actually freaking baited me with that. That will be available from tomorrow and beyond. Obviously, there will be even more in the future in the coming weeks. Obviously, there will be amazing stuff in the following year of 2022. But for now, we'd like to think we provided for a pretty big stuff and reveals for the news today thank you so much everybody should be looking forward to all of this i will definitely <laughs> take part in everything and gather those kind of curious yes. just because i want gather to all the chromosomes boys and i hope that the new players are also happy for having such a great time to start with playing the game and yeah. that their friends that have been playing the game already you know can gloat still a little bit that they get to play this game yeah. for a longer time than they did and get still have free all characters. characters exactly right? that's me are these any free characters more or less i don't know i i, I i'm not keeping count but a lot <laughs> and a lot to be excited about so thank you so much again thank you everyone for watching and no, uh, thank yeah. you too yeah awesome thank you so thank you <laughs> so thanks for everybody that's been sticking with us for this Extremely long, but hopefully satisfying review. It's very stuff. long, dude. And we'll see you guys in the game. Thank you. Right. Bye. Mm -hmm. for Have fun, guys. Bye. <laughs> for real this time? All right. For real. For real. All right. <laughs> All right. Is it? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. Peace.